Hi everyone and welcome back to this week's garden video. Sorry, I'm just on my face, hold on. Welcome back to this week's garden video. I hope you're well. This week has been a busy, busy, busy one and I'm only getting a chance now to go out into the garden. But we had my brother's wedding on Monday. So we went out to the hotel on Sunday night. No, oh, yeah, Sunday. Um, and then we came back on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I was wrecked and I had like loads of work to do. So it's been a week of lovely family get togethers, laughs, tears, just loveliness. And then also the panic of, oh my God, I'm down two days of work. I need to get stuff done. Um, so I was up until like quarter to 12 last night, finishing a job for a client, which I need to actually send. Remind me of that today. But amongst the craziness of this week, I didn't get a chance to get out into the garden earlier. And now today it's Friday. And I think, is it? I think it's like hazy raining, which is great. <laughs> it's not great for my camera situation. But we'll see if it's raining when I go outside, I might have to just film on my phone. We'll see, because I have like the camera, I have like an external microphone. Actually, let me show you what the setup is. That's the setup there. So, oh, sugar, my finger. The camera, the microphone, they all need to be protected from um, the rain. But no, it was a really, really good week, but just, it's one of those weeks where you know, you're kind of like, oh my God, I feel overwhelmed. I haven't been out into the garden. So, and I find now it's so important when I'm busy and stressed and have like so much to do, even just going outside on my lunch break for five, 10 minutes and just observing, seeing what's there. Cause again, I feel overwhelmed with the amount that I want to do in the garden and like with the weather, I know, oh my God, the amount of you in comments last week saying that, you're finding your seeds are germinating really, really slowly as well. Things are growing much slower. I was like, thank you. I thought it was just me. And I was like, am I just doing everything wrong? What's the story? Um, but a lot of you are finding the same issue. And actually, I wanted to show you today, there are a few things in the garden and like the seeds and everything that just haven't gone according to plan. I suppose for a few different reasons. So I'm researching as to why certain things are happening. And I feel like it's setting me back kind of time-wise. So along with everything being cold, it's just been grey and miserable and we have like the odd sunny day here or there. So the other day it was sunny so I took everything out of the greenhouse. Actually let me show you a couple of the plants because I brought them inside for this reason. So annoying. Okay I come with plants. Let's try and like not knock these over. So do you remember back on the 27th of March 2023, couldn't remember the year, I sowed Zinnia Cupid Mix, okay? <laughs> and they were doing great. There was like lots of little seedlings and then I checked them the other day because I checked them every like couple of days. Can you see that every single one of them has had like the seed leaves or the cotyledons um, eaten by slugs? Mm, so annoying. Now I can see a few little seeds that haven't germinated. Oh, I don't know. Just so disappointed because I had a good few that were going to be ready to be potted on. I just didn't get a chance. So yeah, slugs are having an absolute field day in the greenhouse. And I have tried things like eggshells. I've tried, you know, the copper tape. That doesn't work here. I think they just must be like super slugs or something. Because I, I watched them go over the copper tape. Like they're just kind of going, <laughs> should I? Should I buy more of these? I just really wanted these this year. And maybe like I'll sell them and leave them on the windowsill. Let me know. And if you have any slug kind of solutions, um, let me know that work. Like, I actually was like so devastated. And then another thing that I've noticed with um, some of the things that I sowed. So I sowed sugar snap peas and climbing peas on the 7th of April. And can you see the tips of like some of them? They're like, they're, they're kind of brown on the tips. But like, not this one because it's been cold and I'm keeping things in the greenhouse and the greenhouse cover is thicker than last year's one. I wonder is that like having an effect because on some of the seed trays out the back, I can see like a green kind of film, like a mossy film over the top and that's not enough ventilation. And actually, um, one of you said in last week's comment, sorry, I don't have the lid for this. Let me show you one second. But do you remember then recently I showed you that I bought these little trays. So it comes with the bottom, then the little, um, what's the thing called? Insert like look, the little roots are like sorry. See the roots? I'm gonna pot them on. But then they come with a lid, and the lid has like a little disc here that you can open and close the vent. 
like depending on if you want air through. So I think what I've been doing is closing the vents and then putting like kind of on my larger seat trays, covering them with like the big trays or the big lids to make sure slugs don't get them. And I wonder by locking in the humidity in the air, am I creating like too moist of an environment? But I have other peas that are grand. They actually need to be potted, potted on, which I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that today if it's raining. Mm. I need a greenhouse or some kind of like outdoor maison. So yeah, this whole documenting here on YouTube, it's to show kind of the good, the bad and the ugly. That's ugly. <laughs> but yeah, there are a few other things that I'm going to show you in the greenhouse to just, it's annoying. I, I suppose I want to show you as well that it's not all kind of like oh easy and things just germinate things just grow la di da we are going to have setbacks in the garden and so we just have to I suppose like look up I'm going to google why or how to fix the, the pea situation but I might just maybe pot them on a little bit I just thought that they'd be bigger like it's like they're stunted do you know they've been like that for weeks now do you know what I will learn so much this year so that's, that's all good um but yes, amongst the craziness of this week, there was one of the days and I was just like boggle eyed trying to get all computer work done and I, deadlines and everything. But I had to make sure to take time outside. So on my lunch break, I went out and it was like a really nice sunny day. And I just took a couple of clips. Like I just stood there and I was just like looking at things. Um, and I had like no music on, no podcast. And it was just really nice. I'm going to actually just insert the couple of clips here if you want to go and have a little look. And I think it's those little things that you might think, oh God, there's not much happening in the garden or I'm so behind. But it's those little tiny little bits of magic or little bits of growth or little bits of progress. Like the fact that I have bees now coming in regularly to the Jardin means that hopefully the blossoms on the apple are going to pollinate. Whenever I plant out my vegetables, they're going to pollinate. Actually, oh my God, I was like looking at um the quick quick crop Instagram and they're planting, going to be planting out their tomatoes in like a week or two. <gasps> I'm so behind. My little tomatoes are like that size. But anyway, I haven't been out into the greenhouse in a couple of days. So I want to go and have a little look, see what's growing. And I think I'm just going to have time today to pot things on and really kind of like look at the seedlings that I have, what maybe needs to be supported. Let's vamos into the Jardin. Okay, I have to film on my phone because it is hazy raining. But I'm just going to film a couple of moments of joy. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at how quickly the potatoes have come up. Okay, I need to cover that with compost today. And look, I don't know what, I don't know what this is, but we have a little bit of growth. I can't remember what that is. Bit of growth. It's a grand little surprise. <laughs> I think these are like dahlias from last year. <gasps> we got growth. Oh, that's made me happy. Oh, look. This is a Nemesia. Oh, cheer the birds. That's a Nemesia, and that's after coming back. I didn't know that was in there. So this is a tray that has that moss. So it's just, it's too humid. And look at that snail trail. <laughs> but I do have one, where is it? One sweet pepper seedling that's come up. So I have to protect that at all costs. I had, I had a couple of strawberry chili seedlings that have come up, but they're chomped by the slugs. But let me show you actually, let me show you this. So this is one of the dahlias from this year, it's starting to sprout. Oh, we got another one there. Well, that's encouraging. Now in here we have peas and beans that need to be um, propped up and supported. See here, I don't think I will, I'll do, um, oh, it's starting to get sunny now. I don't think I'm gonna do sweet peas and toilet rolls again because they kind of went moldy too. These ones look okay. So the other day I potted them on so I planted, or sowed those the 16th of the second. I must actually sow more seeds. I actually sowed them direct, but at least they're, no, that's their growth. They look good. These ones here at the back look like they've been chomped by slugs. <laughs> Again, do we have anything happening in there? Nothing yet. What's here? So I did, I did decide to um, open those lids there. Oh, oh, what do we have here? Oh, do you know what? It's great coming out after a couple of days and you don't know what's going to be in here. 
Oh, we have arithinicinum and then the two lots of tagetes. Oh, they're after flying up. Oh, that's good. I have to protect them because they're going to protect my tomatoes. I'm not going to show you everything. Okay, what's happening here? Okay. Okay, we have zinnias here, but not much germination. Like, are they too moist? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll bring those in and leave them on the windowsill. But the greenhouse is warmer. And then I really try to protect these. So I put like a lid on the bottom, a lid on the top to try and create a seal. Let's see if it worked. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I need to pop that on. See the way the mold is starting to grow in there and in there. Is it mold or moss? I don't know. But they are the cantaloupe. Um, what do you call those things? Cantaloupe. Calendula. And the cucumelons. Okay, I'll try and pop. Oh, look. Oh, that is a moment of joy. That's the um, the white, hold on, the white napita that I haven't planted out yet. <laughs> I just haven't had a chance. Oh no! Why do they look weird? Oh god! These ones on the right, the trailing nasturtiums, they look weird, don't they? We have tomatoes. Everything just feels really humid this year. Sorry, I'm like seeing these all these for the first time in a few days, so you're all on this journey with me. What do we have? Oh, I see little green shoots. Look at the size of them. Oh my god, they're adorable. Apple blossom something and then more aranthinium, but not a huge amount of germination. Just should I bring that in as well? Oh god, I need help. <laughs> like I haven't watered those in days and like they just feel like really wet. I don't want I don't want that to happen to those, do you know? Okay, let's see. Okay. This looks promising. We have, oh, it's the sunflower on this side. Okay, that makes me happy. Little verbena shoots there. Nothing happening in the Napita row and lots of these. Okay, they look good. I've never grown these before. Sun, sweet Sultan. They look like big mad pom-poms. That makes me so happy. What one is that one? Dahlia, some, oh, tangerine sorbet. Oh, gorgeous. Now, I feel like I need to pot these on. They're starting to get that moss as well on the bottom. Hold on. Look, see there? When did I sell these? The 23rd of March. They look good though, they look healthy. And the slugs haven't gone near those, so I didn't protect those at all um, this year. Do you know, like in terms of like covering them over when they were germinating? Actually, no, when they're germinating, I did, but not when they grew up. Okay, what's in here? Oh, yes! <gasps> this is my sweet corn. Oh, that brings me joy. I love, love, love growing sweet corn. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, perfect. One didn't germinate. That's okay. And so the plan is I'm going to give Will and Joanne half of these because um, I won't have room for all of those. So last year I put the sweet corn, I think, in this bed. And they say not to put the same vegetable in, like the same crop in the same bed. So I'm going to put it in this one. Yeah, I think this year because I think I'd like to keep that for tomatoes and stuff and cucumbers. Thank you for like coming on this journey with me because I do. Oh, they look good. <gasps> oh. All is not lost. I'm not a crap grower, except for that cell, I kind of am. So at least we've got a, f a couple of the uh, trailing petunias, which is grand. We've got some tomatoes. These are orange. Nothing happened in the lavender, but actually one of you, look at the bloody moss again. One of you was saying that um, the seeds have to be like, made cold. I can't remember what the word is. So, but you know what? I think I'm gonna hang up my lavender sewing uh, shoes because it's just not for me. I'll just buy the plants. And okay, the lemon tomatoes are looking good. I think I'm gonna pot these on because um, again, I can see that moss growing on underneath. And I hope, are they big enough to think like to stop the slugs? Will they eat them? Okay, and the last thing. Let's see, oh my God. Ooh. So I cover these to protect them from the slugs because you can see they went to town on um, a couple of them. But these are, I can't remember. Oh, zinnia forecast. 
I can't remember what they look like. And yeah, the ridge run, nothing has happened. But as I said before, I sewed this in the wrong uh, tray completely. So I'm gonna try and pot these on because again, you can see the, the moss and that's not, that's because I didn't give it enough ventilation because the lid, the lid has these little ventilation things and I kept them closed because I was afraid slugs would get in. I just don't want to use anything like product wise for the slugs because I want to keep everything as natural as possible because we're growing so much food in here, but they look good. I wonder would I be able to plant those out? Okay, I'm gonna try and pot some stuff on before it starts raining. I have the seeds, I have my little tags, but can you see those black clouds? They're on the way. <laughs> I might message Catherine to see. She's 15 minutes away from me that way. Um, so she usually tells me the weather before it comes. So oh, I can feel it starting to rain. Oh no. I got a message her. Breaker, breaker. Can you tell me if it is raining in your neck of the woods? I'm currently filming and I want to know if I should set up my phone or keep my camera up. Help Bridie because I can see big black clouds coming my way. I just really want to pot stuff on. Okay, thanks. Okay, she has replied with the video. Okay, Brady, it has just stopped raining, but look at the amount of rain on my thing. Um, also, I potted on all of my teasels and I put my thing up. Oh, she has her so umbrella that up. I could, and I use my woodwork table as a potting table. But yeah, there is rain. However, it stopped. So the rain has stopped, my friend. So I'd risk it for a biscuit if I were you. Okay, I will. I've run out of compost so we are finished repotting for today so these are the sunburst no why can I never oh yeah sunburst sunflowers I had them if you look back at last summer's videos I had them along the back wall there and they were huge like this little itty bitty plant will have like so many flower heads the, the stem gets really heavy as well so but they're gorgeous so I was initially putting two per pot but then I was like no I'm gonna do single because I probably will give um some to Catherine well she probably has enough for some flowers and <laughs> um, some to Will and Joanne it's the calendula cantaloupes and I did a few in each pot because I'm probably going to plant them as like a clump and um, so I didn't want to do like individual pots 
and then down here if you saw me doing this so these are uh, watering trays and it's just easier to water stuff like that because then it means that it's sopping up the water like really evenly you're not kind of just watering the top level and you can see here and that one there that the top of the soil is starting to go dark so that means it's and um, soaking up the water so we'll see what happens with those and yeah, again with these, oh god, I didn't label them. Oh no, I did. Oh my god. Ozinia forecast. I can't remember what they look like, but I, again, I put a few in a pot because I plant them in clumps. But see this kind of vibe? All the plants on the table? That makes me happy. But yes, I need to cover those potatoes. So yeah, I think tomorrow I'll go to Woody's, get some compost, and there you go. Okay, that was very therapeutic altogether. I feel like I got lots done. I didn't even have like music or iPods, not iPods podcasts on at all i was just pottering repotting totally recommend yes i didn't wear gloves i'll be grand and <laughs> um, but i hope you enjoyed this video but if you enjoyed this don't forget to thumbs up and leave me a comment let me know what challenges you're having in the garden at the moment is it just me anyway i'll see you next week's garden video okay bye